Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three methods to compare the means of two or the median of two or more independent groups when it comes to Likert scale data like this. We have Likert scale that ranges from one strongly disagree to five strongly agree. And we need to compare, for instance, male and female respondents with regard to different like uh, items of the Likert scale. To do this, uh, there are three ways. The first way is go to here to analyze and we go to compare means and again means. And I'm going to move the Likert scale items separately. So it's going to redo it to see. We'll move the Likert scale items to the dependent list. And I will move, for instance, gender or the groups uh, into the this list or the independent. This is how we can do it. And we we'll go here, we can choose the, the number of cases, the mean standard deviation as well. We can choose, for instance, the median if we want. We have different uh, choices. You choose what uh, suits you the best. Click continue. Style, we keep it as it is. Bootstrap, we don't need any bootstrap here for the time being. Let's click OK and wait for it. This is like just the descriptive telling you whether there are some missing values. This is the table that contain the mean and median. So I can just copy it and paste it. But before I paste it, I need to double click it. And then we have pivot. So I need to transpose rows and columns so that it, it can be uh, copied and pasted to Word document. This is how we can do it. So we have the mean, median. I can just uh, change change it from here. The, the second method is uh, the following. So we're going to go to analyze this uh, This method is called the independent samples t-test and it is used when we have normally distributed data and we have Levine's test of uh, homogeneity or whatever it's called is assumed. So there are some assumptions and variance also. So there are some assumptions that need to be checked before running this method. To do it, we are going to, do, to go to compare means and we are going to go to independent samples t-test. And then let's move the group to the grouping variable and define it like this group is good as one and two, click continue and let's move the separate items together. So I can move all the items at once. And then for options, I can choose uh, this option for exclude cases analysis by analysis or list why this has to do with Missing values, click continue and click OK. And here it is. Here, this is the descriptive stats that contain the mean, the standard deviation, even the standard error of the two groups along with the sample size. So this is the second method. The third method is more applicable since it does not assume many assumptions and it's used when the assumptions of the independent samples t-test are violated. To go about this uh, third or last method, so we go to analyze. And then we are going to go to non-parametric tests and independent samples. We go to fields and I move the group to the grouping list. And, and we have here the items that need to be moved to the test fields. So select everything. Okay, so here the nominal fields cannot be placed in the list. So what I can do is come back to SPSS and change the levels like the category we have the uh, different categories of these items need to be coded as ordinal or scale variables so that they can be analyzed to do it i can just change them from here I can so we have these variables copy again and let's paste everything so let's try to use some shortcuts copy and paste using shortcuts it's going to be quicker once they are uh, changed. Uh, I'm going to go back to analyze and then non parametric tests and independent samples t test. And we go to fields and let's move the gender or rather the group to the grouping variable and the others to the variable list or the test fields. So move everything and click run and let's wait for it. So here the difference is you can see the p-value from here, the stick to tail for the independent samples t-test. And for the man with new test, which is non-parametric test, you can simply see the difference from here. 
by looking at these graphs or by looking at the tables that show the statistic this asymptotic significance is violated this means that there is statistically significant difference between the two groups with regard to the fact that for example students achievement in a subject is directly related to their teachers effectiveness in teaching a subject so this is like adopted scale and uh, this is how we can go about interpreting the results and you can see visually speaking that one group like uh, this group has a higher mean rank compared to the other group so this is like visually speaking and in brief this is how you can compare the mean scores of two or, or more independent groups using either the mean function by going to analyze compare means or the independent samples t-test by going to analyze compare means and then independent samples t-test or by the non-parametric test the man with new test by going to non-parametric test independent samples t-test and fields here so this is like the way we can do it if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media below till another video bye for now see you soon